Hello, welcome to Jasmine Lettuce Shay's Kitchen. Today we'll be making cabbage steaks. First, we're gonna start off with a about a half stick of unsalted butter. Now, I did go ahead and put more in the, in the pan. Now we got some cloves of garlic, cilantro and parsley, and a serrano pepper. Now I just mix those all up, and I'm gonna put those in a bowl and set them to the side. Now we're gonna be using red cabbage, so usually there are a couple stray leaves when you're dealing with cabbage, so go, just go ahead and peel those on off. Or you can leave them on if you can manage to keep them um, at bay while you're trying to cut them. So what you wanna do with the cabbage is you just wanna cut them into like steaks, like planks. And I would say about one inch in width for each one. Or a little bit, maybe a little bit less than one inch. But the thinner they the thinner they are, the easier they will cook. never had red cabbage before red cabbage and the green cabbage the red cabbage is substantially sweeter so I'm gonna be cooking today with walnut oil so just press some inside your pan spread it all out and I'm gonna be sitting the cabbage steaks on top of that but the red cabbage are sweeter, just like the red onion. So I lay the steaks out in a pan, and usually I just keep the chopped up leaves, what's left over, and I'll put, throw them in a bag and put them in the freezer to cook them on top of the stove. But this time, I just went on ahead and threw those in a pan, chop those up, throw those in there. I mix some a cup of water with a little bit of oil and I poured those over the steaks. Now take some of your cut up vegetables and just throw some in there all over the top. Now we're going to season them and you want to season these quite well and you can overdo it So I'm using smoked paprika, a pepper, oregano, regular paprika. Seasoned salt. Now here in substitute you can use Himalayan sea salt or regular table salt. I'm gonna use some lemon juice. I'll also use some cumin as well. Black pepper. And this is the main ingredient, the hot infused hot chili oil. But you want to go in with that chili oil with a light hand. Now here I'm just tossing the leaves. I've turned them over, the steak's over, I've seasoned the other side. Now this is an extremely big pan that I used for um, this video, so I had to add more water than probably I usually would. Now here in our pan with our butter, 
we're going to take some hollandaise sauce seasoning and add that into the pot and cook that up and just so you guys know with the holiday seasoning um, I actually prepared this too early and it really is going to thicken up on me so I suggest um, just like making it at the end when your cabbage steaks are already done unless you like the thick consistency now if you want a thinner consistency like something like what we're looking at right now um, before like the pudding stage leave it like this and just add the butter in melted and that would make a big difference I'm actually cooking this and that's because I'm cooking it because I wanted to add in some vegetables so add in some of our chopped up vegetables some black pepper make everything get on some onion powder and some lemon juice as well so I wanted to cook it to soften the vegetables now we this probably has been cooking for like 30 40 minutes just going in turning it over and as you see um, on the ones that are turned over already it kind of looks a little bit softer but they are very very rough right now and with this very large pan I will have to add more water but if you use a regular size smaller pan you probably wouldn't need as much water as this pan takes it should not be full of water so about 30 to 40 minutes later turn them over again um, re-oil them down with the walnut oil and I'm gonna re-season these because after tasting them they, these are easily they tend to be a lot on the bland side so that's why I'd say you can use heavy seasoning on these cabbage steaks now that's fresh garlic you definitely can have a heavy hand when it comes to cabbage steaks especially the purple ones I think it's probably best to do these with sea salt because sea salt you need very little and it's going to give you a whole lot of power. So now I'm just taking some of the juice in the bottom of the pan and I'm trying to set in those seasonings without rubbing them in or washing it off. Putting a little bit of oil on top. Mm -hmm. The table's mm -hmm. Okay, yes, about sir. another yes, 30 minutes sir. later, come mm -hmm. back and they yes, are finished. Babe, move! Mm -hmm. It is. Mother, watch Don't cuss on this. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is good. And you do want this dark consistency. Y'all got to try that. This was so good, you guys. You have to try this. Now we're going back for the sauce. What? If I ever find the time to bring it over, that is. Here we go. So now I'm just heating up that sauce a little bit and I'm gonna add, I wanted it to be a little bit thinner but I didn't really wanna comp compromise the taste 
of the sauce by adding too much more to it is actually perfect the way that it is right now. But I'm still gonna thin it out a little bit. So I'll just add a little, 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 a little, a little bit of water. And I'm gonna add probably like a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of milk. Maybe two tablespoons of milk. <laughs> Just incorporate that. And it's steady, trying to thicken. So, I'm just gonna take it off and go ahead and put it on top of the cabbage sticks. Constantly turn, constantly whip that. Now I'm gonna put them on the cabbage sticks and you want them to have that Press that char on top. Makes all the difference. And this sauce is so delicious. Every time we eat it, we put different sauces on top. This is one of the best ones. It doesn't look as appetizing as it is. Looks like some kind of egg salad or something. but it is very, very, very delicious on top of there. And I just stuck so, that so, in the oven so for good. about five more minutes. And that is done. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe yeah. for red cabbage steaks. I also cooked some swai yeah. fish and garlic mm -hmm. bread for sides with this meal. Now, these red cabbage steaks are a good idea if you are a vegan um, and you don't eat meat. They're very filling, very good. Here's just some pictures. Mm, mm, mm. This was so tasty. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go check out some of my other cooking videos. And check out some of my um, weight loss videos. If you get a chance, check out this video. Great recipe. And please subscribe to the I Am Man podcast on any of your favorite streaming services.